we can use the n plus 1 rule to predict the peak splitting that we would expect to see. The first hydrogen isn't bonded to a carbon, meaning there are no adjacent carbons bonded to it either. As a result, n must be 0. Remember, n plus 1 is the number of times the peak gets split, meaning 0 plus 1 is 1 peak a singlet. No peak splitting has occurred. The second hydrogen environment, the CH2 group, does have an adjacent, non-equivalent carbon atom that it is bonded to, and this carbon has three hydrogens bonded to it, meaning here n equals 3. Again, n plus 1 is the number of times the peak gets split. 3 plus 1 is 4, a quartet. The final hydrogen environment, the CH3 group, has an adjacent, non-equivalent carbon atom that it is bonded to, the CH2 group carbon. This carbon has two hydrogens bonded to it, meaning n equals 2. 2 plus 1 is 3, meaning the peak gets split into 3, a triplet.